I'm Mike Avename, and I'm a touring and session musician, and I'm currently touring with Emblem 3. I really like working at Ultimate Rhythm Studios, mainly because Charlie's the engineer, and it's definitely important to always work with someone that is understanding what you're trying to go for. So you're making a jazz record, you're making a rock record, you're making a pop record. They have to understand the music. You can't work with an engineer or a producer that doesn't understand what you're trying to do. I like working with Charlie so much because he does his research. So I say, we're doing this kind of a session this week. Here's 10 examples. Let's let's do that and see what happens. So, and then he'll call me back and ask me questions about that. And we'll go back and forth to make sure that the day that we start the tracking, everything is exactly how we need it to be. I've worked in a couple of places where I walk in with a direction and it doesn't really come across at the end. Whereas when I work here, we always get the sound that we're trying to go for. And, and that's really important to me. I think the number one thing before you go and do a session is to do all the research on what you're trying to do. So usually if I'm working on an, uh, a record with an artist, they'll send me a bunch of ideas and I'll go back and forth with them trying to get exactly what they're trying to achieve. It's always important to make sure like you're not going in, not having listened to anything or not knowing exactly what you're trying to get, especially because you're working for other people and they need to be happy with what you're doing and you need to be happy with what you're putting out. So it's always important to make sure you're, you're 100% on what, what both parties are trying to achieve. I prepare for sessions different depending on, on, on the circumstance. There have been a couple of sessions where I've had, you know, producers or people just be like, don't worry and just come in and we'll listen to the tracks together and you just do whatever you do and, and we'll see what we get. There have been other sessions that I've done where people have been so specific and sent me tons of tracks or certain sounds or a lot of reference tracks. So usually when I'm recording here at the studio, I, I'll send that on to Charlie and be like, here's 10 songs. I need it to sound like this. I want the kick drum like this. I want the toms like this. And then on my end, you know, I'll spend a lot of time dissecting the tracks that they've sent or going through their music. Sometimes I'll program stuff at home on my electronic kit and send them ideas asking if they like the parts and all that, and then we'll work on sounds together, talk over the phone, anything like that, just to make sure it's always gonna be right. It's taken me a while to develop my sound that I have now. I spent a lot of time when I first started playing drums just trying to play you know, things on records and mimic what other people were doing and just really focusing on, on being a drummer rather than getting things to sound good. I would always take my drums into a drum store and be like, hey, tune my bass drum, I don't know what I'm doing. And, or I would go to the guy at the store and say, I like this guy's drum sound, make this sound like that. Just not understanding that wood plays a lot into the roll or the size of the shell or the, the what you've got stacked on the drum or like the heads, anything like that. So it was only in the last couple of years that I've really been focusing on being a session guy that I've you know started playing around with lots of ideas. It's really important to just like go for anything, put things on the drums, pull off heads, you know, stack stuff, whatever you can do to try and develop something that sounds different. With Emblem 3, I use like a really full on rock drum sound because it's, it's really what their music calls for live. But then I go work with a singer songwriter and I can't use that same drum kit. So I've had to learn how to, you know, get different drums, play with the sounds and see what happens. So I've got, you know, an array of Ludwig drums and old shells and different snares and different cymbals. I had to work on my, my playing style and not hit hard all the time and play softer and things like that to make sure that when I track, it comes across the right way. I think if you're prepping for the studio as an up and coming guy or you're new to going into the studio, you should really just go listen to a bunch of records and try and make those sounds happen. I didn't do that when I first started in the studio. I would be like, hey, engineer guy, make my snare drum sound like this guy. And, he, and they would be like, well, we can't do that. And I was like, why? I never really understood why your, it's your job to push buttons and make me sound like that. That took me a while when I first started to realize that it's my job to sound like that when I come in. Don't be scared to change the tuning of your drums. That for me, I would, I would get someone to tune my drums and always be afraid that once I changed it, that would be game over and I couldn't play drums anymore. So don't ever be afraid. That's the biggest thing is to just go for everything. Don't be nervous and try and see what happens. We've done a, a bunch of sessions actually where we've needed to get a variety of different sounds but one in particular we were doing a session for a, a russian film and the song that we got pitched is from the 70s and actually sounded really bad but they wanted it to be exactly like that so charlie and i had to 
pull drum heads apart and and we got stacked broken cymbals and pulled off the front bass drum head and stuffed things in the bass drum and moved mics in the wrong places in the rooms to try and replicate this sound you know i was like hey just give me things bad cymbals in charlie's got a big bag of broken stuff so we just put everything up and then funnily enough we all thought it wasn't going to work and at the end we listened to it and we're like this sounds incredible so again going back to the sound thing you don't really know you just got to try all the gear and the cool thing about working here is that you know you've got the time to be able to go through all your stuff and figure it out